The summary of everything that is mentioned in this video is taken from the total market capitalization of the currency. Additionally, I would ask that you support my channel by liking it and subscribing to it so that you can stay up to date on future XRP news as well as other cryptocurrency news in general. Take a look at this now, shall we? Uncertainty among investors is caused by decisions made by the courts and the SEC appeal plans. This continued to have an impact on buyer demand for XRP as. Investors continued to be apprehensive about Ripple's ongoing legal battle with the Securities and Exchange Commission. The behavior of the price of XRP is determined by the decisions that are handed down by courts in cases that include the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and cryptocurrency, as well as appeals. The price of XRP dropped below 0.48 cents on Monday, resulting in losses. On Monday, June 24th, the price of XRP experienced a decrease of 1.9%. On the evening of Sunday, he's June 23rd, XRP was trading at a price of 0.47 at the end of the day. XRP's losing streak has already reached three sessions, which is a noteworthy development. This comes after the cryptocurrency had a recent loss of 1.42. In the event that you engage in futures trading, your capital is subject to a significant degree of risk. Because of this, you should only trade with money that you are able to afford to lose. In spite of the fact that it is likely that trading derivatives is not suitable for all investors, you must make certain that you have a comprehensive grasp of the risks that are involved and seek independent counsel if it is necessary. In the event that you are interested in conducting business with us, you should give some thought to the possibility of acquiring a product disclosure statement test. Our test can be obtained by requesting our offices or by using our website. Raw spread accounts are the ones that supply its spread. Bearish attitude across the greater cryptocurrency market had a negative impact on investor demand for XRP, which led to Bitcoin bet call falling below $60,000 on Monday. This was a result of the bearish feeling. Exists the possibility that the judicial system in the United States could influence the general public's perspective on the Bitcoin market. Sexy versus Ripple, as well as the possibility of an it was not possible to find any news concerning the SEC v. Ripple case that was pertinent to take into consideration. Ripple is needed to pay a penalty for violating a securities regulation, and the cryptocurrency community was waiting for developments on the topic. Ripple is required to pay the penalty. In addition, the courts in the United States need to make a decision regarding whether or not they will exercise their authority to issue an injunction that would block the sale of XRP to institutional sellers. A. Of $2 billion and an injunction against Ripple and XRP would be the worst possible outcome for both of these decentralized digital currencies. There is a possibility that an injunction will have a detrimental effect on the endeavors to expand in the United States. The Federal Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC intention to appeal the order concerning the programmatic sales of XRP remains the key draw. A recent statement made by Christina Littman, who had previously held the position of Division Chief at the Securities and Exchange Commission, put an end to the anticipation of an appeal to the SEC. Littman was of the opinion that the Securities and Exchange Commission would want to minimize the potential of incurring a significant loss in order to appeal the decision on the programmatic sales of XRP by appealing the verdict in the month of August in 2023. In August, the filing was made, which called attention to the objectives of the Securities and Exchange Commission C and gave the appearance that the SEC would make an effort to overturn the decision made by the court. The plans of the Securities and Exchange Commission CC to appeal the ruling involving the programmatic sales of XR, on the other hand, could vary depending on a number of other factors. The decision that was reached in the matter of the SECVZ, it is possible that Coinbase Coin will decide whether or not the Securities and Exchange Commission will consider engaging in an appeal. The Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has plans to appeal Coinbase and the request for interlocutory appeal in the SECV. Is it feasible that a court verdict of the CVs Coinbase might set those plans on hold? In the lawsuit that Coinbase was involved in during the month of April, the company filed a move for interlocutory appeal, in which it asked the courts for permission to appeal the ruling regarding the motion to dismiss MT. Because the claims in the complaint are properly located and provide reasonably supporting evidence for the CC's assertion that Coinbase functioned as an unregistered intermediary of securities, Judge Catherine Filla dismissed a major section of the MTD. She speculated that this was the reason for the rejection. After careful consideration, the court has determined that the defendant's request must be rejected in a significant portion. Coinbase may make an effort to overturn the decision that was issued by MTD if the move for interlocutory appeal is granted by Judge Catherine Fila during the proceeding. It was in October of 2023 when Coinbase submitted the MTD in which it asserted that the securities and 
Exchange Commission CC did not possess the statutory competence to regulate cryptocurrency exchanges in the United States. Following the submission of the motion for interlocutory appeal by Coinbase, the Ethereum developer consensus has made the announcement that the Securities and Exchange Commission case has completed its investigation into Ethereum. Notably, the Securities and Exchange Commission decided to end its investigation despite the fact that it had offered grounds in the Coinbase case that digital asset ecosystem security was a concern. In response to the announcement regarding consensus, Metal Man responded by drawing attention to the ecosystem argument when it comes to the revelations. Regarding consensus, would Judge Catherine Fiella take them into consideration? Coinbase has the ability to provide further arguments in front of Judge Fiella, such as the recent news about consensus and a reference to the argument that the SEC stated concerning cryptocurrencies and eco-friendly products. Due to the fact that Coinbase has not submitted any paperwork, it is quite likely that Judge Fayella will base her ruling on the facts of the case, as well as the arguments that have all been presented. In the event that Judge Val makes the decision to grant the motion for interlocutory appeal, there is a risk that buyer demand for XRP would increase once more. A decision regarding the motion for interlocutor appeal filed by Coinbase could be made by the court at any time. Within two months of the filing by the SEC, the Courts rejected the petition for interlocutory appeal that was submitted by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC in the case of Ripple v. SEC. If Ripple were to achieve a substantial victory in court, it might potentially pave the way for a more favorable future. With that being said, what does this imply for the cost of XRP? It is going to be broken down into its component parts, but wait on guys, because there is more to come out of this. Not only will we learn the truth about the legal status of XRP in the state of California, but we will also investigate the mystery transfer of 250 million. XRP, furthermore, we will investigate the debate surrounding Chev and its potential implications on the entire cryptocurrency market. Last but not least, we will conclude everything by discussing the technical analysis and my thoughts on the short to medium term outlook for XRP stock forecasting the price. So gentlemen, hit that like button and get ready for the XRP news that will be coming your way today. First things first, let's talk about the enormous victory that Ripple just won in the state of California. Recently, a cryptocurrency known as XRP has been receiving a lot of attention from numerous people. The chief executive officer of Ripple is pleased about this victory, and there is a justification for his excitement. This result may pave the path for Ripple and XRP to receive regulatory clarification that is more favorable to their interests. Nevertheless, what does this imply for the cost of XRP on the market? It has been decided by the individual in charge of the United States District Court for Northern, California that the complaint will be allowed to proceed to trial under one state law claim. The complaint is mostly based on claims that Garlinghouse made about XRP in an interview that took place in the year 2017. It has been decided that the lawsuit will now be permitted to go to trial. On the other hand, Judge Hamilton has rejected four allegations that are centered on the purported failure of Ripple to register the controversial XRP cryptocurrency as a security. In light of the fact that this is not just, any win, it is not just any victory. To that end, what are your ideas regarding this matter? If you could, kindly let me know in the comments area below. Next, we need to explain the current situation of XRP in the state of California so that there is no misunderstanding. A statement that was issued by Ripple's chief legal officer recently put a stop to all speculation and put an end to all speculation. An important new development that has the ability to influence the price of XRP is the one that has just occurred. Ripple's chief legal officer noted that the judge in California dismissed all charges that claimed that the company violated federal securities legislation. These allegations implied that Ripple had breached the law. The loan claim that is still pending in the state of California is based on the declaration that was made in 2017 